The top three moments that sealed the confirmation of ACB. President Trump's third SCOTUS appointment, Amy Coney Barrett, was officially confirmed to the Supreme Court just weeks after her nomination. The controversial judge was confirmed with a party-line vote after partisan Democrats refused to support the confirmation of a justice in an election year. Though the confirmation was practically inevitable given the Republican majority in the Senate, here are the top three moments that really sealed the deal for Justice Barrett. One, when President Trump introduced Amy Coney Barrett and allowed her to introduce her large family. Her speech was full of endearing and relatable comments about her career, her marriage, and her seven children. It immediately made it difficult for the left to attack her with any credibility. Two, when Slate ran this ridiculous headline that called Barrett a shameless careerist who believes nobody can stop her. A liberal publication knocking a woman for ambition really helped fuel every conservative woman there ever was to put some pressure on the Senate to confirm. And three, when she showed John Cornyn all of the notes she needed to defeat the radical Democrats interrogating her. Can you hold up what you've been referring to and answering our questions? <laughs> Is there anything on it? Uh, that letterhead that says United States Senate. Never Trump Group releases the most hilarious political ad ever made, on accident. The Never Trump elites at the Lincoln Project have really outdone themselves. They released a one-minute ad on Twitter on Monday night that was intended to be totally serious, warning about a third term for President Trump if he is re-elected next week. It features a woman telling her son who won the presidential election and, well, it's the most accidentally hilarious thing you've ever seen. Some conservatives on Twitter are even saying it makes them support Trump more. Watch for yourself. You asked me to wake you and tell you what happened in the election. Who won? Trump. Trump won. But I thought you could only be president two times. Not anymore. Joe Biden's response to Hunter's business partner's bombshell interview is actually astounding. This week, Fox News favorite Tucker Carlson interviewed former Hunter Biden business partner Tony Bobulinski about all of his business dealings with Hunter and Joe Biden. And it was a bombshell. Bobulinski told Tucker about how Joe Biden personally benefited from a stake in a Chinese business deal. He revealed how the Bidens wine and dined him to secure his help for the deal. He also detailed personal conversations with James Biden, the former VP's brother, about how they felt comfortable doing these shady business deals because, quote, plausible deniability. The revealing interview is making the rounds on the internet and further outraging those who were suspicious of the Biden family who made millions while Joe served as vice president. The Biden team has yet to respond to the interview. The silence is deafening.